Hey guys, welcome back to Platinum Fishing. James here, and today we have a lucky tackle box that we are going to unbox. All right, well, let's get right to it and bust this thing open and see what's inside. So this box is all right. I noticed this box is bigger than the uh, mystery tackle box, uh, which at the end of this video, you'll see um, a link to see that. I just did an unboxing. Um, and by the way, well, you can see on the box, this is the tournament series and it's the bass box. So it's the biggest one that Lucky Tackle Box makes. So let's see what we got. Okay. Now, these tackle boxes, monthly tackle boxes, normally they have this kind of wrapping paper kind of thing where all the lures and everything are. Um, but there's something, looks like maybe it's an extra on the top, but we'll see what that is in a sec. But first, I'm just gonna show you uh, what's what's in the box. This will show you the pricing and and everything. And there you go. Pause it if you need to. Okay, it also comes with a, a monthly flyer, catalog, whatever you want to call it. Let's see what this is. It says there's two fishing lure hooks and two ounces of diatric formula. So it's like a, I don't know, a spray or something. Well, let's... Sealed, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see what's in it. Oh, it stinks. That's a good thing. Diatric Formula Ten, all species, two ounces. Okay, it's supposed to be two fishing hooks or something in here. Oh my God, it stinks. Got a couple jig heads here and a couple plastic like, crayfish. I think that's it. But you wouldn't believe how much this stinks. So you, uh, it gives you a couple So two of those and two of those. Cool. All right, let's get into it. All right, seems like a, uh, a decent amount. So I can see right now, this is one of the bonus things here. This is just a skirt, just a red skirt. If I ever needed to change the skirt on a, on a spinner bait or whatever, nice red skirt. They're just saying it's a red jig skirt material. Okay, cool. Texas rig kit. Okay, we got I've tried this Gambler brand before, it works pretty good. So these are like a five and a quarter inch Ace. That's what they call them. It's kind of like a, I don't know what the, if they have the color on there, but it's kind of a, yeah, some kind of a green with red flake. I don't know if it's a pumpkin or a watermelon, but can never go wrong with these. We have a, Dobbins Beast spinner bait with its white and uh, chartreuse. Uh, 
That's good. A wacky rig kit. Okay. Looks like it's missing something. Up next, the company is Raw Outdoors Inc. It's a lipless crankbait. All right. Okay, we got another Dobbins spinner bait. This one's got like um, the skirt is like a white with black stripes or dots almost and char chartreuse. And then it has two two willow blades. The other one. It has a willow blade and a Colorado blade. So you can see there's the willow blade, there's the Colorado blade. So cool. You can see the skirt's a little bit different, but those colors will work good. Ooh, this looks nice. I've wanted one of these. Okay. This is a live target frog. And it's a hard bait. And it's kind of looks like it's a it's a it's a popper, and it has a some bucktail on it too. And you can see here, bass bait and iCast twenty twelve. No, oh, still cool. I'm really happy about that. This is uh, this is one of the bonuses. Just a box of 12 pound mono. Now I don't really, I don't really use mono for a lot of things, but I do, I guess the really, the only thing I've been really using it for is just backing my rods uh, with mono before I put braid on them. Um, I hear a lot of guys, they'll use mono leader instead of fluorocarbon leader for different reasons i guess because it'll float too with the braid i guess there's some some things so maybe down the road i'll use it for that but i usually just use mono for backing so that's pretty cool that that they threw that in as a bonus all right next up it's another wacky rig kit well this one actually had i don't know if the kit's the same but this one has kind of some o-ring kind of things in it but they have another kind of eye at the end of the O-ring, so, by Mustad. So, we'll see. I mean, I'm not too thrilled about these, but maybe maybe it'll be okay. It's just a, it's just a straight shank hook. Well, that's really all you need, I guess. It's a pretty big one for a wacky rig, but we'll see. Uh, well, let's just get this one out of the way too. It's another Mustad Texas rig. It's got a couple offset hooks, a snap swivel, and I don't know if that's supposed to be a weight, that red thing, I don't know what that's for, I'll be honest, but that's, that's that. I don't know everything, folks. <laughs> I'll find out later. Okay. Okay, we got some Mustad Tungsten Titanax Worm Weights. Cool. They feel actually really heavy. Another Raw Outdoors Ink Lipless Crankbait. It's a good color. We have some Matrix Shad Dockside Bait and Tackle. And they are... I'll show you here. what it is. Cool bait. I bet you it'll work really well. Now while I'm at it, I do have another bag of these that's in the box and let's see what the difference. Okay, the color's a little different. So the one that I just showed you had some red and, and green uh, flake in it. This one here has just black flake in it. So that's pretty cool. All right. 
I'm okay with that. So far, this is a, you know, it's a pretty good box. I'm pretty happy about it. Okay, another bag of Gambler, um, of the stick bait, the Senkos. Five and a quarter inch. Ace, they call them. And okay, I see the difference. So it looks like they're the same green. These ones here have red flake. Red and black flake. These ones just have black flake. Cool. And last but not least, another live target frog. Oh, it's upside down. I know the logo's upside down, but you can see the frog there. This one's a little bit bigger than the other one, and it's also a little bit different color. It's kind of darker. Um, there's the other one so you can see. That's fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy about these two. I'm a big fan of Live Target. They work really well. That's it. Well, there you have it. That is the unboxing. And by the way, this was the March 2020 box for Lucky Tackle Box. And again, it was the tournament um, bass box. Let me know what you guys think. And also check um, the video out <clears throat> of my unboxing of the Mystery Tackle Box. Um, it was the Elite Bass Box. And let me know which one you think was better for this month. I think they're both great, but, uh, you know, some different baits in, in, in both of them. So, yeah, I think this is pretty good. I'm happy. All right, guys. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hammer that like button. Subscribe to my channel. And do yourself a favor. Hit that bell icon so you're notified when I have new videos posted. Thanks again for watching, guys. Mm -hmm.